The pancreas has both exocrine and endocrine functions. Endocrine functions we'll be discussing at a later time. So the focus of the pancreas here will only be on the exocrine portion. What the exocrine portion does is it produces pancreatic juice. Once again, it's via these acinar cells, and the acinar cells are in every type of accessory organ, and they produce some sort of fluid, some sort of solutes that have to be modified before they get dumped into the lumen of the GI tract. So let's take a closer look at how the pancreas fits in with the major organs of the GI tract. So if you look here, this is the duodenum, and in the first little curvature portion of the duodenum, you'll find the pancreas. The pancreas to me reminds me of like, I don't know, like cottage cheese. Um, so apologize if you like cottage cheese, but it does. All right, so when you look at the pancreas, and we'll zoom in here to the cells inside the pancreas, here are the ACE in our cells that secrete some enzymes. And you have these duct cells, some different types of cells in the pancreas that secrete bicarbonate fluid. Together, the enzymes and the bicarbonate fluid are all a part of the pancreatic juice. The pancreatic juice, once produced, passes through the pancreatic duct, through the ampulla of Vader, through the sphincter of Odi, and into the duodenum. Okay, so now let's take a look at what the juice contains. We know that it has bicarbonate ions, and we talked before about contents coming from the stomach being acidic and being dumped into the duodenum. The enzymes won't function in the duodenum in an acidic environment, so we have to have that bicarbonate in the duodenum to neutralize those acids. The enzymes that you'll find in the pancreatic juice include pancreatic amylase, pancreatic lipase, pancreatic nuclease, and what are called zymogens. Zymogens are inactive proteolytic enzymes. They're inactive until they get into the duodenum. Once they get in the duodenum, they will become activated. So these enzymes include trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen, and procarboxypeptidase. The only time all of these juices can be dumped into the duodenum is if the sphincter of Odi is open. In other words, when it's open, the sphincter is relaxed. And this only happens when food is present. In other words, when food is present, the sphincter of Odi will be relaxed, and the pancreatic juices can enter into the duodenum.